Oh God. Yeah. Like like number seven, January 1st, 2022. I'm Justine. (laughs) Jackie. (laughs) This is a channel about cross stitch. We, this part that I've now chopped in, this introduction is happening at the end (laughs) of the video. So I'm exhausted by now, but in the next chopped frame, energy will pick up. (laughs) (laughs) We like a slow start. (laughs) And a slow finish. (laughs) Oh, good lord. Good lord. All right. What up? Happy New Year. It's January 1st, 2022. X's and O's coming at you. Not to be confused with 2022. Definitely. This year better fucking be better. That's all I have to say. All I can say is my cynical heart has reached the max of I just I have no more emotions left to give <laughs> like my my, my, field, said, my field of f's is barren <laughs> when, you're, it's a, when you're dead inside but it's christmas and that's right now when you're dead inside but it's a new year yeah i had no emotion last night watching the ball drop <laughs> other than the Times square ball drop is the tackiest ball drop in the entire world Shots fired on the ball drop. <laughs> Shots I, fired on the New Year's Eve ball. Yeah, I'm so disappointed in New York. Uh, like, first of all, every hat, everything is covered in Planet Fitness crap. That's true. Uh-huh. Secondly, um, so here's the ball drop. Here's the big Happy New Year sign. And then off to the right, you see, are you addicted to gambling? I didn't see like, that. I don't change your stupid ads. Yeah, that are blinking all over Times Square. I, I mean, not for the amount of money they're paying to have that ad space. It's thirdly, funny. Thirdly, is that a word? Thirdly, um, no. play New York, New York before the ball drops. Make that the last song you play before the ball drop. Um, do not cut into Auld Lang Syne 15 seconds after it starts, after the ball has dropped, and cut in with New York, New York. As you can see, everyone, the creative I'm, director I'm of, about this. <laughs> the creative director of the New Year's Eve ball drop, uh, just <laughs> is coming for your job. Yeah. So get ready, because next year it's mine. And it's going to be a hell of better. I have a connection to New York. Get on it, New Jackie. Eve on New York. Not ball drop in any way, shape, or form, but to the confetti that is shot across New York. Uh, a friend of mine that I toured with, her cousin's, <laughs> her cousin's dad, um, like her uncle. Yeah, I guess it would be her uncle. <laughs> Jesus. This is how hungover and tired I am. Uh, <laughs> yeah, her uncle, it, it like coordinates the whole confetti cannons. Like, props to him because that was the only good thing about it. So, I'm done. I'm off my soapbox now. Anyway, New York Times or New York's Times Square ball drop blows. Uh, Next year, I'm having my own ball drop in my backyard. Cyrus and I already talked about it. It's happening. You're all invited. I'll broadcast it live. <laughs> It'll be Eastern time. So do you want to see the ball drop? Are you done so I can chime in? Now? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Yeah. You need to pull it. <laughs> I've been I'm thinking about this all day. <laughs> As I'd like to chime in now, I didn't see any of the ball drop. Because being in Illinois, being an hour behind, it's like, oh, who cares? You know, we don't. And granted, we don't have cable. I was with my friend Bree and a few friends last night. We were just like, okay, looking at our clocks and like pulling up YouTube videos of a countdown. And, yeah. and we watched, yeah, we watched YouTube mm-hmm. for the ball drop. 
Yeah. But then a, a bunch of fireworks, granted, I'm not the biggest fan of fireworks anymore. Um, but Brie lives on the 13th floor. So she's got a nice little view of the city. And it was a lot of fun seeing little fireworks pop up here and there around yeah, the we can hear them afterwards. I didn't see any though. We're in the woods though. So mm-hmm. well, anyways, right. enough about New Year's Eve. Let's what up get back to <laughs> Let's talk about stitching. Less bitching. Yeah, that's more stitching. But I like stitching and bitching. <laughs> you can't have them both at the same time. No. <laughs> oh, yes, you can. I know. All right. Did you have a good Christmas, Jackie? Yes, Justine. It was a very nice Christmas. Did you? Have- favorite gift? It's a lot of pressure. Well, my sister, Justine, was kind <laughs> enough to fill a stocking for me because... <laughs> My inner child is having a hard time advancing into adulthood and realizing that this is something we got to let go sometime. Because <laughs> our, pa- um, our parents... Santa doesn't fill adult stockings anymore. He doesn't. Our parents, uh, for the last few years, just... I mean, they fill each other's stockings. And me being the single person, I have no one to fill my stocking. Literally. (laughs) (laughs) Yes. No one is filling my stocking anytime soon. Sexually, non-sexually, figuratively, (laughs) non-figuratively. But Justine, anyways, Justine was very nice to spoil me with a stuffed stocking. It has some great stuff in there. I appreciate it. I've been using that little kitty headband when watching (laughs) I was, I was uh, in the bathtub the other night, had it in, and then did one of the sheet masks. And I was like, so. Merry Christmas. But favorite gift? Like looking around, like, hmm. I don't know. I enjoyed all my gifts. I got a Wonder Woman cookbook from the nieces, got a comfy, Sweater from my brother in law. <laughs> I sadly have been wearing that a lot. Like, oh, yeah. There's nothing sad that. about that. We should have worn them tonight. <laughs> I was going to text you and be like, are we wearing these? We'll put them on for our whip parade. <laughs> yep. But yeah. yeah. Got it. Oh, a. Uh, uh, the fifty dollar gift card to Stitching Bits and Bobs for mom and dad. That was nice. Yeah, that was great. We nice. blew that. We blew that within five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> um. But yeah, what about you, Justine? Did you do? You, uh, did you have a favorite gift, or just just everything was so good? Everything was good. The girls made me some sweet little ceramics that they painted, and. Um, I got a lot of books. Got a lot of books. A lot of books. <laughs> They're good books, though. My autographed Clansland Almanac. That's pretty awesome. Okay, you know. <laughs> I'm, just um, I'm just listening and smiling. I'm waiting for my... Cyrus got me a set of uh, the... Knitting needles that can that you can change out, but oh. they were on pre they're on a pre order. So okay. hopefully those will come in sometime this month. Uh, like looking around, what else did I get? Oh, uh, I'm pretty excited about my DNA. Oh the yeah. DNA kit. I haven't done it yet. Um, I'm also. I finally got my. Mom and dad got me the six months world ancestry subscription. Mm-hmm. So I started looking into that tonight. I'm I'm looking up. I wanted to do a floss tube at all then. Yeah. Well, mom wanted me to call her back and then I'm like, floss tube. <laughs> yeah, <you're laughs> tube. Mom wanted me to call and tell her about the 16 kids that great grandma Nancy's mom had. This lady was 51 years old and had a three-year-old. 
all the way to 23 living in her house. There was 13 kids in the house at that point in time. Twins that were five. Like, kill me. I have a hard enough time with a three-year-old and a five-year-old. I have a hard but time. I guess the, the 23-year-old, there was like a 23-year-old, a 19-year-old, a 17-year-old, a 15-year-old. They're all watching the kids. So yeah, really, should, it was a cakewalk back in the 1800s. I don't know what they complained about. <laughs> oh, why am I getting all this eye gunk? Sorry. Picking your eyes, Jackie. I don't can, touch your My concert. So yeah, it was just a really good Christmas. Yeah. The girls had a great Christmas. It was, I mean, our Christmas Eve got canceled. Thanks a lot to our cousin who had a breakthrough case. <laughs> and me, because I had an exposure. Well, yeah. It was a know. combo. Everybody, and I think Bobby wasn't feeling well. Huh. Yeah, Bobby, mm-hmm. can watch this so I can say your name. Uh, yeah, it was this year. It was one of those years of like, okay, I guess like we'll plan, we'll plan, we'll plan it, but everyone just be ready for last minute. Yeah, it was like the day before they canceled it, which I'm glad I wasn't going to go anyway. So, so Christmas Eve was nice and chill. Yeah. Fortunately, family plans stuck for christmas day yeah they were relentless and that was <laughs> exhausting and i had like this weird stomach bug that you and mom had and the girls and like i was miserable christmas day. it was a fun holiday it was a great christmas <laughs> we all were just it really was though like in the big scheme but, of things it was a good christmas i yeah. wish we could have with more people but it was good the way it was so maybe next year or this year i guess we say now maybe this year uh, maybe this year maybe, this, maybe year. this year will be different maybe a few months from now will be different my cynical heart tells me not to yeah. breath. <laughs> anyways what are we showing first some stitchy kindness oh yes so got some lovely Christmas cards in the mail from some beautiful stitchers that we've met and uh, made friends with. And I will say like 2021, that was one really great thing about that year is that we met so many amazing people in the stitching community. And I just could not be more grateful to be a part of it. And I'm lacking in the social media aspect of things. And I always feel terrible because I like rarely respond to comments and, but I do read everything that comes through and it does make me feel really good. And maybe that'll be part of, I'm not really making resolutions in 2022, but that is something that I want to try to be better about is engaging with people because it's very easy for me to just kind of like, I see it. I appreciate it. I'm checking out. From it. You tell me to respond. <laughs> you respond to the comments. I just, I don't know. It's a weird anxiety that I get about like responding to people. So, well, if people didn't say anything, I mean, they wouldn't warrant a, I don't fucking know. I'll just shut you up. Anyway, um, Christy. Salty Stitcher Designs. Was she sent us this very cute card. Mm-hmm. See, she took the card away from me. And I, I did. Me, but so I have a card it. tree on my wall. I tape, I tape all of my Christmas cards up in the shape of a Christmas tree. <laughs> so I pulled it down and Christy, I swiped it from Jackie so I could put it in the card tree. Sorry. Not sorry. Anyway. But she also sent us... These sweet little scissor fobs. Look at that peppermint. These things are sturdy. Um, Her sister made these. I cannot think of. We will tag her sister's shop. I messaged Christy to thank her and asked her if her sister had made these because she does a lot with jewelry. Mm -hmm. So, but I can't think of the name off the top of my head right now. I apologize. But we'll tag it. Christy, I'm sorry I have not messaged you on Instagram to tell you thank you. <laughs> this has been majorly sidetracked. I know nothing. Bitch. I am. I am a bitch. But you I are a bitch. 
I, appreciate, I am the stitch bish. <laughs> it's appropriate. It's appropriate, I guess. But no, thank you so much again. This is so sweet. Freaking, freaking yeah. love my art. Frosty. I love it. Frosty, baby. Um, and then we also participated in Stacy Stitch's ornament exchange. That was fun. I was so I, nervous. I was not going to get my gift out on oh, time. But oh, I man. did. Yeah, I it came down to the wire for me. <laughs> I didn't feel as nervous because the lady that I had lives like a town over. So really, I could have just driven 40 minutes and <laughs> dropped it off if I had to. But it didn't come down to that, fortunately. So. But, uh, yes. So, I'm taking my ornament. Brooke. Back. My studio creates and my studio creates. She had me. I was so pumped when I opened the card or first I saw where the package was coming from on my informed delivery. And I'm like, Lansing, who could it be? I was like, I have a feeling I know who this is. <laughs> and, <low laughs> and, and so she sent me this awesome ornament. It's so, it was so beautiful. Oh, I love it. I mean, it's beautiful. It is perfect. I absolutely love it. It's been hanging up on my big bookcase thing. I don't know. Armoire, whatever. Armoire. Yeah, I love it. Um, and then she had other little goodies in there. This awesome candle. It smells like a graveyard. It's <laughs> Graveyard, it smells like a graveyard it Happy smells like dirt days. it's like dirt and moss and it was on my wish list so i was pretty pumped to get it um this fantastic needle minder it's got a needle on it because i had a needle i just pulled off of something so my national lampoon's christmas vacation and then this really awesome Scissor fob, digging the color. I like this big. Oh, where's the tree I bead? Etsy, um, I got one of like Etsy, an Etsy email today that was saying like this year's colored co color is emerald green. Oh, the Pantone That's color here. That's the color of 2020. Nice. Um, and then I have to email her because she sent me some patterns as well. And I have totally dropped the ball on getting in touch. So I'll do that. But yeah, I was very excited. It was an awesome little package that she put together. That's not everything that was in there, but those were the easiest things for me to grab. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Um, and then uh, my gal, Miss Sally Hayes. Oh my gosh. One sent me a lot of sour candy gummy worms that have already been devoured. They were devoured within the first weekend of receiving the package. And then I got this lovely. Oh, that's cute. I hadn't seen it. Just I've never a seen long. a wooden hoop frame like this. And that was cool. Backing fabric. But oh, nice. I, I love candy canes. I think, and I love peppermint and spearmint in general. So every time I look at this, I'm like, mm. peppermint <laughs> in my mouth. <laughs> I want it all in my mouth. I won't try to hit this back up. But then also, so I had uh, the Elfster, Elfster wish list that I had originally created when we did the witchy stitcher exchange. And so a lot of my things were still like very Halloween based still. Yeah. And, and that's hence my graveyard candle. You know, <laughs> but <laughs> Sally checked out my list because then she sent me the zero, zero from Nightmare Before Christmas ornament. I got that's cute. cute. I got him. Um, and then I didn't realize that this ornament was. Don't mind me. I made a rubber band string. But this other ornament, I thought it was like a regular size ornament, but it's like a mini. Look at that. God, yeah, that is a <laughs> comparison. You're holding it up. So I'm like, it's really big. It's, it's, but it's, God, stop swinging, Sally. But a tiny little Sally. Honestly, I mean, it's so cute. Well, and now I'm like, well, now I got to get a tiny tree. Or you could use her as like a scissor fob. Oh, 
Uh-oh. For a bag Uh-oh. pull for a Nightmare Before Christmas bag. Oh shit. Yeah. This is this is a true fact. But yes. But thank you so much, Sally. Uh, if you're watching this, I don't know. Uh, and thank you, Stacy, for coordinating all yeah, of that. Oh my God. That up. I don't I, know how you do it, Stacy. Yeah, and making sure, I mean, that everybody was still there. Going. Yeah. I would have been mean, so annoyed, just like, I'm out. I'm not running this. <laughs> no. My patience would be gone. Yeah, she, yeah. that was just awesome. I know, I think she, I saw her mention maybe doing another one, like a Valentine's Day one, which I'm tapping out on that. Yeah. Just because I, I can't. Yeah. I, don't I can't make commitments right now. I don't need a reminder that I'm very single all the time. I'm, it's hey, like, Valentine's Day, Jackie. Good lord. Don't make it about relationships. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Anyways, so thank you for the stitch of kindness and all the stitch of love. I have uh, one more. Oh. I guess two more. Stitchy kindnesses. Oh, I got this little turkey needle minder. Technically a Christmas gift from my sister. That was our Grandma Mary Lou Lou's pin. So it just means all the more. Mm -hmm. Our Grandma Lou grew up in Washington and then moved to Michigan and squeezed out six babies and you know, she passed away just before Christmas last year. Mm-hmm. She would have been, I think, 89 this year. So. Something or 88 so. this year. Or, well, last year. Yeah. <laughs> 2021, I think she would have been 88. Um, but that woman had so much costume jewelry and pins. And she loved apples. I think we've talked about this before. But, yeah. Jackie scored me this awesome turkey. No, I remember grabbing that pin and you were like, when we were going through her jewelry and whatnot, and Aunt Teresa was like, take whatever you want, you know. Yeah. Sorting through it, checking it all out. And I grabbed that and you're like, oh, I want that. <laughs> so I took the Just cornucopia. Just out of sight. <laughs> I took the big plastic cornucopia. <laughs> she had tons of like, which... They're perfect. Like the girls have been wearing them for different holidays. She had like big Santa heads and little drummer boys and the cornucopia. And it's fun. Yeah. Um, and then my last stitchy kindness, which was another Christmas gift from my main squeeze and my children. Grip it cross stitch. That was one of the books that I got. There's some so. gorgeous patterns in there. Like, yeah, it's really cool. It was, it's like, not what I was expecting, but it's awesome. All right. What's next? Any FFOs? Yes. And I will have to put a photo here and her. I, well, I guess the, first- I have to do the same. The first one was my first ever commissioned piece. Uh, oh, my yeah. hairstylist uh, requested this from, it's from a movie called Serial Moms. I can't remember the director's name, but he makes like a lot of cult classic films. Um, oh, shit. John Rivers? No. Mm. Do you know who I'm talking about? I know who you're talking about. Just saying that name. It's not the right name. I don't think. Yeah. But it rings a bell. Yeah. Um, it's John Waters. John, John Waters. John Waters. John Waters. John Rivers. <laughs> I'm saying, yeah. Don't worry, it's man. right, but it's not. It's not it. Um, <laughs> a John Waters film. And he wanted to make that, or asked me to make that for his partner. And I, yeah, it was a lot of fun. He loved it. And he sent me a video of his partner opening it on Christmas day. And his partner's like, oh, you son of a bitch. Or like, you <laughs> bitch. And I was like, it was really great. And then this second FFO is something I made from a BFF Kate. 
She really loves Bo Burnham, um, especially his recent or his oh, special sure. that was on Netflix. What? Bo oh, for show. Bow for show, yo. Yes. Are you playing with your double ear lobe? No. My single lobe because he doesn't get enough attention sometimes. <laughs> Those are my two FFOs. Um, so I have the ornament that I made for my Stacy Stitches exchange. Oh, did I? I I'm pretty sure you, you showed that in your last one. Yeah. 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 Because you were done. I was and then I made a little something for my oldest daughter's kindergarten teacher I got a stitch people book and made her a little stitch person it's her first year teaching so really it was she like could not be more perfect for a first year kindergarten teacher uh, I got to go in and volunteer at the school and do the little shopping day where the kids go around and buy a bunch of crappy presents. And, <laughs> <laughs> and my daughter's classroom was right across the hall. So, of course, she saw me. And then it was just like, well, I guess I'm taking you home with me when I leave yeah. today. Um, yeah, but <laughs> but Mom! at one point, they were getting ready to go to music class excuse me, I'm burping. And um, they're all lined up at the door and I hear the teacher and she goes, hands on your hips and close those lips. <laughs> and all the kids like say it back to her. <laughs> like, man, I don't remember Mrs. Locke no. being so like that. A here. lot of rhyming, like hocus pocus, everybody focus. And who did that? Oh, oh, you didn't? With my time with MCT, that's how I learned a lot of rhymes. Oh, okay. A lot of Cross rhymes. applesauce. Crisscross applesauce. Um, no, yeah, I would do a like lot it. of, I would do a lot of, if you can hear me, clap. Oh, okay. Yeah, Nevi has quite a few that, like, she and Marianne will play, and you'll hear Nevely, like, sit down tall, crisscross applesauce, and and then I busted out the hands on her, on your hips, close those lips. She's like, where did you hear that? So, Don't you dare bring this stuff home. Yeah. My kindergarten teacher was just scary. She just passed away recently. Yeah. Saw her obituary. Yeah. I honestly was like, she was still alive. <laughs> she lived a good long life. Yes, she did. Cause yeah. she, se she seemed ancient. When I was in kindergarten, did you have Mrs. Locke too? Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you have to bring a teddy bear on the first day of school? I think so. I do recall. Yeah. Because I brought the bear. It was a light brown bear, but then it had that white little triangle pouch of hair. Oh, I vaguely remember that. There's I took fuzzy. Nevely. Okay. It's that little blue crocheted bear oh, yeah. that I think Aunt May made. Yeah. And Nevely loves that thing. And she's named it Fuzzy. Fuzzy. And that's, there's a picture of me sitting at the house on the first day of school and Fuzzy is sitting on the steps next to me. And Nevely just gets such a kick out of that. Yeah. I think, yeah, I recall the photo that's me holding on to the bear standing on the front steps. I think I was wearing my red, white, and blue outfit from Grandma Grace. Oh, the shorts with the vest. <laughs> Yeah, got to bring that style back. I was wearing a white t-shirt with a knee length shorts overall, but it was not jeans. It was like a pastel floral and it was, it was like a light fabric. So it was more like a workout. Oh. You know, it, they were not detachable straps or anything. Like you just pulled them down, that kind of, yeah. And I had a bowl cut. I think I had close to a bowl cut. Probably mom freaking loved the bowl cuts. What the hell, mom? <sighs> All right. So. Back to stitching. Yeah. <laughs> you can leave that in. Those are good. Uh, anyways, yep. <laughs> Let me reminisce about what I wore on the first day of kindergarten. <laughs> Um, 
what you been working on? Well, I've been working on my primitive hair. I haven't worked on it a lot. I can't even remember when our last video, how much I had done, but I just added about that much. Okay. So maybe I never touched <laughs> it between our last video, <laughs> but, uh, that's that, that one. And ugh. then I started, I was trying to stitch this before Christmas to give it to someone as a Christmas gift, but I did not finish it in time. Let me pull up. Okay, there we are. So I am doing a feminist icon cross stitch. That might yep. Um, and I am doing RBG. Doing an RBG. Nice. And uh, is Betty White in there? I don't think she is. Hopefully she starts popping up in the next. Well, there's a Golden Girls cross stitch book mm -hmm. that I see quite a bit. And then I just got. Oh, yeah. You were trying to finish that on <laughs> Christmas Day. You're like, I think I can do it. I think I can do it. <laughs> no. <Yeah. laughs> but this is just a like 14 count Ada that I think I got from Michael's in one of those rolled up kind of a. Almost looks burlappy. Mm. And then it might be called oatmeal. Yeah. Uh, I was furiously <laughs> trying <laughs> to get Prairie Grove Peddler Dashway oh. stitched because. I was telling mom or y'all while I was working on it, mom's like, are you going to give it to me for Christmas? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, I was, I don't think so. No, I was telling mom, that about, been hilarious. I was telling mom about how like, then you got the pattern and I was like, I already have it, Justine. And you know, we're laughing and I go, yeah. So I have to make sure I finish this pattern before Justine starts it. <laughs> oh, okay. Hey, not bad. Yeah. It's a nice kind of, simple easy stitch those are the best yeah so and this is the same fabric as the oatmeal one but yeah it's right. been a tootin along go that and those are besides the whole new year shindig whips have you actually started any of those i started the glendon place one was the fourth one i started today so I've started. <laughs> what? Where are the other ones? Let's see them. It's stuff you worked on. I know, but it's just, I threw them all into their axe because I was like, oh, and this counts. This is done. <laughs> um, so I started the first one, Lindy Stitches, Cats at Christmas. I started this one first. And uh, I'm using a Bestitch Me fabric. Oh, 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 uh, a 16 ounce. Okay, 16 ounce. 16 ounce. Coffee or beer? <laughs> Both. Uh, a nice little coffee stout would be great. Uh, 16 count Ada. Um, it doesn't have this stitch me fabric in particular doesn't have a name an opalescent um I'm using a variegated dmc christmas i got accident in there it's not pot i might have to back stitch it which mm. I'm yeah that's a little hard to see yeah and then my needle minder this is a rebel stitch rebel stitch needle minder it was okay. a like grab bag she, colleen did something like eight bucks i'll throw you, you random or yeah something. i don't know but like five it, needle minders or something like that for however yeah. much the lady i think the lady with the pearl earring but she's got a cat right in there it's like this is fitting <laughs> so i started that today and then the second one i started 
is from 8-Bit Stitch. Is this, can I guess it? Sasquatch? No. No. Uh, this is, wait, did I say the name wrong? It's not um, a bit in time. Oh. 8-Bit Stitch. I said, yeah. 8-Bit Stitch. And the status of your uterus does not define who you are as a woman. Nice. And say, I got one little uterus. Aw, my cuterus uterus. And I've got my rebel stitcher cuterus. <laughs> <laughs> um, and this is a opalescent. Um, I think this was like a Zweigart white opalescent 14 or 16 you know the usual three i wind up having and don't pay attention to. Nice. i have naughty like that and then my third one <sighs> is from the witchy stitcher Happy Halloween. Oh, I don't know that one. You gave me this pattern. I think you were like, oh, oh yeah. You had a, you were doing I had it. A little bit. Um, and this is, I got nice. this top bit done today. Um, 14 count DMC gold fleck. Very and nice. I'm like using the crap out of this gold. Like, I think. I've used just about, this was like the last little bit of it before it, there's a second package of it from your, hi Dexter, hi Dexter baby, he's so fluffy, Trigger's not here with me, he's on vacation at my mom and dad still. Yeah, I hung out with him today. How was he? He's good. He was sleeping in a laundry basket full of blankets. Like he do. My fourth start <laughs> was uh, Glendon Place. Phantom Plantation. Right? Yep, you gave me this one too. I'm already at war with this pattern, but it was just, <laughs> my, it was just my thread that I was at war with. Uh, this is another Bestitch Me 16 Count Ada. Um, this one has no name as well, toots, but it's a Halloweeny one. Nice. I started one a little tree branch. <laughs> yep. Sure don't like a dick Just biting my fingers <laughs> and clawing my leg while he needs. He's like, mm. Mm. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, so that was my fourth new start of the new year. There are eight, eight, more, to go. eight more to go. I have a feeling though, I'm going to be working on this blend in place for the rest of the night. Cause I'm just like, I, <laughs> I need to <laughs> away. <laughs> um, I think I'll probably work on phantom plantation for the rest of the evening because with the other three starts like i stitched something like an actual spot of like oh this is a completed area and this this is what i don't even know what i would count as a completed area right this tree branch like this tree branch yeah let's get those three colors that are all in this branch in there Yeah, those are all my whips. Those are all the whips. Mm. You need to move your cat, Justine. I know. She, she just cat. never sits in my lap. So I'm all excited. This is really nice. Just <laughs> stale. <laughs> all right, Justine, what do you got? What are you okay. working on? Um Let's see. So my main focus, because it's been Christmas time, time. Um, I'm working on Jack's, Jack Frost Tree Farm by Little House Needleworks. 
I'm in the very center. I'm working on family fun, which is part three. Can't see. That's cute. That's cute. All I have left is the, the white, which is like snowflakes. And then um, I think maybe a couple scarves. Yeah. Right there. I'm going to make myself bigger while I show my stuff because I can't see anything. So, yeah. That's been my main focus. I've had it on my stand and I've just been working on it. Um, let's see. Then I started. Oh, I'm using called for floss on that little house needleworks. Mm -hmm. And it's on a bestitch me. I think it's 32 count Lubana and it's vanilla latte. It's an opalescent. Mm -hmm. um, my next one I'm working on is the granny panties cross stitches. The every day I'm hustling. Yep. Granny panties. And this is on, let's see, a Fiberlicious 28 count Lugana. It's called Salem. It was from last year's Halloween box. All my Christmas lights are shining through, but that's what I have on that so far. And called for DMC on that. Bluey. No bluey. Yep. That's a bandit. Oh. Excuse me. Get it right, Jackie. <gasps> My bad. Learn your bluey, damn it. The best show on earth. Uh, my coworker that I was trying to hook you up with, he posted something about, about like, I used to think I was a good dad until this guy set such unrealistic expectations of father. <laughs> mm. um, I think those were the only two that I worked on up until I started the hashtag NYE 12 by 12 or 12 X 12 that Kia B and uh, Pam from just keep stitching. Mm -hmm had started so uh it was supposed to be one start an hour from noon to midnight on new year's eve obviously with two small children not happening mm -hmm. uh, and really i ended up being out of the house most of the day yesterday so um i was able to do three last night let's see so i did I can't show this. It's the pattern. It's a free pattern. So really quick, a funny story. I just put these on my um, tiny decisions app. And that was how I decided which one I would yeah. start. And cool. then I've got one set aside that will be my last one I do. Um, but the first three that came up were all heartstring samplery. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> and that's i'm like okay all right Here we go. they're all fun but it was just like wtf <laughs> so this first one is called all Lang sign and it's a heartstring sampler it's free on the blog um and we'll probably link that mm -hmm. um link it below so this is what I have so far. Um, so as for flosses, I went through all of my fancy floss. And if I had it, I used it. If I didn't, I just pulled a conversion. I've got my, I got my Fauci ouchie. Uh, it says, well, so I, I got a big chunk of the border done. I worked on it for an hour. It'll say, we'll take a cup of kindness yet for all things sign. Those are the words. And then it's on the Stitch Me Lugana 32 count called Winter Blues. It was December 2020's Fabric of the Month. Bam. A lot of info. Yeah. Take it. Got that info. So that was the first one. The second one I worked on. 
show this one was Yukon's Christmas List. Cornmeal and gunpowder and ham hocks and guitar strings. Uh, this was another one where I just pulled two threads from Stash. Um, and that is what I got done in the first hour on that one. I freaking love that Yeti. <laughs> it was very appropriate. Uh, and this is on a 30. Oh, wait. I think this one might be a 28 count linen. It is. It's a 28 count opalescent linen by Bestitch Me. So if you can see oh, a little bit of the yeah. opalescent. Um, it's a no name. I call it Snowstorm. Snowstorm. Auntie Val thought that was a great name. She has good taste. I'll tell you what. Yeah, I love Auntie Val. Uh, project bag, Polar Express. This was Black Needle Society nice list. Do they ever have a naughty list? Is that a thing? You know, I feel like they did. Mm -hmm. But I could be mistaken. I'd like to get on that. <laughs> All right. Third pattern was heartstring say oh did i yeah that was the yukon's christmas list was also free on the blog third pattern heartstring samplery festive little fobs coffee edition oh, with me in my joyful stitching coffee bag This is what I got done. Got my strong, like my coffee, Rebel Stitcher needle minder. So yeah, I had one whole fob that I got done that hour. Uh, this is on a 32 count Lugana. I think it's cream by White Shelf. Mm. Cream. Okay. Cream. Cream. Cream by White Shelf. Uh, da, da, da. fourth start that I did this morning in this solid bag or whatever uh, raise a glass of cheer blackbird designs uh, another one where if I had the floss I used it otherwise I converted so that's what I got done on that one. Okay. And it's another Rebel Stitcher needle minder. This came with Lynn's June bag from last year. Uh, and this is on a 40 count linen by Fortnite Fabrics. Mm. I think this one's called Alfred. Alfred. And that's part of the... Samplers Club? I can't remember. And then the last one I did today is another from Heartstring Samplery. Um, I can't show the pattern, but it's called Christmas Promise. Also free on the blog. It says I'll honor Christmas in my heart and try to keep it all the year. This is where I got on it. So the whole top border is, well, not done, but mm -hmm. the leaves are in. And then there's like little bells and berries that go with it. And then it's got the side border that comes down. And it's got a couple little motifs and some hearts. So it'll probably end up like down here somewhere. And this... I don't have, I think this is a 32 count Lugana from Bestitch Me. I know it's from Bestitch Me and I know it's a Lugana and I think it might be called Mocha. I lost the tag to it because I did ornaments on it last year. Bag, Creative Carol on Etsy. Needle minder, I don't remember. Probably mad for minders. Maybe. 
<laughs> one of those. Um, yeah, and then the last thing I've been working on was the story stitches. Christmas classic stitch along. Jealous. So I got started on the Grinch, which is the first square. Um, and I've been super lazy, but this also came up in my whip go board for January. So it'll probably, uh, my whip go is very minimalist this year in the expectations I have for myself because last year I was like, I'm doing no new starts. I'm joining Whipgo and I'm going to put a thousand stitches in on each project every month. And then I was like, fuck it. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I can't do this right now. No. Uh oh, <laughs> yeah. I did not complete Whipgo. I did not complete no new starts. And I just, it was one of those where like I had high hopes, but they were very unrealistic expectations for my stitching style. We're all learning. I'm also finding a lot of my whips. I'm kind of, I like them, but I've grown out of them. Mm -hmm. Like I enjoy, I'm like, I have a lot of samplers I want to start. And you've made sure stuff, like a cheese. Uh, yes. I've stitchy aged cheese. like a fine wine. <laughs> You're a stitchy cheese man now. <laughs> Um, but this is on, this is called, it's a Bestitch Me 32 count Lugana an opalescent called Morning Glory. I think it might have been from the little spring box. You can't see it, but yeah. And then my little Rudolph needle minder, I think is from Mad for Minders. The uh, other day when you were like, I'm at work and have access to a printer I mean, I didn't say what you use the printer for. You just, you have a printer at work and that's really a fun fact about you. Did you get a really nice color printer? Did you make uh, physical sheets of Christmas patterns? Not with the printer, but you know where I'm going with this? No. Did you print out the Christmas sal on your non-work no i'm a dumbass i was gonna be like can you bring those to me can i bring those? <laughs> so at work i do not have any access to like facebook links so damn it what you're saying is if i get the files for you i mean you can try sending them and i'll try opening them okay but yeah, that I, I don't think I can. And I've just been doing them on my phone because they're so small. Yeah. I lost my yeah. So that's what I've been working on. Nice. You got some good ones, Justine. Thanks. Any future plans? <sighs> Trying to knock out getting eight starts. Tomorrow, maybe, is the day. I'm supposed to go meet up with a friend, though, for mimosas. Um, mm. Mimosas and the Golden Girls. Rest in peace. I want some mimosas. Um, future plans. I just finishing stuff. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> I, need to, I need to go to mom's and knock out a finishing day. Have her help me. Um, yeah, I think, yeah, those are my future plans, I guess, of just trying to stick with, I, well, this is probably a conversation for Hall, but I ordered a stitching planner. Oh, yeah. Um, I have this feeling already that I'll start using it, and then I won't, but you mean, I know, you know, trial run, we'll see what happens. Yeah, I ordered one last year and I did use it. I didn't use it. Like I liked I liked certain parts of it, but it didn't have a calendar. Mm -hmm. Which I did not like. Yeah. But um yeah, just keeping track of all my stuff and then like staying 
committed with trying to keep a schedule and improvise schedule when I'm feeling it. Yeah. I don't know. Well, and that's what, so doing the 12 new starts for the new year, whatnot. Um, I think I finally <laughs> understand why so many people have so many whips. Like you start 12 and then it's like, I'm like how whips accumulate. Yes. Cause I'm like, Oh, I've got oh I mean, Jackie, you haven't even participated in like March madness. And probably not to what's next. My future plans. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So I'm doing whip go January. I think that the numbers were two and 19. So the Christmas classic stitch along was called, um, my goal for that is just one day of stitching. Mm-hmm. Like that's essentially my goal for most of the stuff on my whip go board is to just spend a day on it. And a day for me is usually a few hours in the evening. If it works out that the girls are content with playing, I might get a few hours in, mm-hmm. you know, throughout the night before they go to bed, but that's rare. Um, and then my second one, <laughs> that was called was my temperature tree by stitch and mommy or stitch and mama. So, (laughs) Oh, I saw Becky finished hers. I know. And then she called me out. Thanks Becky. Oh, I didn't even see the call out. I just saw hers. She's like, let me see yours. I'm like, (laughs) I told her, I was like, I'm getting it out later. I'll send you a picture. Um, So yeah. So here is my temperature tree. I made it through January, February, March. April and some of May. Um, so not too bad. <laughs> no. So my whip go goal for this, this is the only one that is not just a one day. My whip go goal for this is to finish the trunk and branches. Mm-hmm. Because if I can get to that point, then I think I'll just do like the, like, okay, I'm going to spend 20 minutes a day before I stitch on anything else and add leaves Mm -hmm. until it's done. Yeah. And this is on 25 count Lugana by the stitch me called mist. Sorry. My tree lights are illuminating behind it. So yeah, that's this one. There you go, Becky. There you go, Becky. <laughs> Call out my unfinished tree. Um, so those will be my two that I'm I want to get done or work on this month to meet my whip go goal. And then I've got six, six more, seven more to do for my 12 by 12 12 yeah my new year's my 12 new year's starts so i'll get those started and i have to do my steel city stitchers exclusive Mm -hmm. because one month in like three days, oh. we'll be in Pittsburgh. I'm, I'm really nervous. Are you nervous? I think because so many people just, are gonna know who we are, and we're gonna be like, <laughs> yeah, like it's gonna putting, be a culture shock. <laughs> putting legitimate faces to people, um, meeting them in person. It's just a weird feeling, like. Like I follow you online and I feel like I know things about you and that seems creepy. <laughs> Welcome to being like in the performing arts industry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so yeah, but I am also very excited. Like there are, yeah, I. It's going to be a blast. Yeah. There's like a list of people I can't wait to meet. I can't wait to see Colleen. Mm-hmm. Like it's just gonna be a lot of fun i'm really looking forward to it i hope the weather's not super shitty yeah or the drive whatever 
I feel I've, I've got like 20,000 things I feel like going on before the retreat. And I, I can't even register that far. It just does I, not seem um, like, like, I don't know. It does not seem like it should be in a few weeks. Mm-hmm. But it is. See everybody there? Uh, check in below if you're going because I have a horrible memory and I feel like the last time we discussed this was probably like a hundred months ago and I don't remember everybody that's going to write down everyone's name that's like I'm going to be there and I'm just going to have yes stuff. yeah I need to make a list and then be like hello yeah <laughs> you wrote this okay got it I know who you are <laughs> so yeah I'm pumped it's going to be fun I think Cyrus is going to go with me. We've got to call his sister and see if we can boot the girls to her house that weekend. Uh, She lives just outside of Cleveland. So it's kind of on the way to where I think we're going, we're planning on leaving like Thursday as soon as the girls are out of school and just driving right to my sister-in-law's and staying the night there. And then leave an early Friday morning because I think it's like a two and a half hour drive from her house. Yeah. So figure out how I'm getting there. Okay. What's next? So I'm about to lose it. Hall. 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 What's the effing hall? Um. So, like I mentioned earlier, I ordered a cross stitch planner and then I ordered some needle minders that haven't arrived yet. It's going to be a bit, but from inconsiderate stitch. She's in the UK. Yep. Um, She's got some awesome needle minders. I can't wait. I've looked at her before and it's one of those where I have like, Oh, I should order some. And then I'm always like, Oh, it's in the UK and COVID. Yeah. Well, I got like the tracking info went out pretty quickly, but I mean, we'll see, we'll see what happens. And then Justine has a bunch of patterns that I bought. Oh, she's got a bunch of patterns that I, a bunch of Lady Gaga and flea bag patterns. Yep. So yeah, Lady Gaga and flea bag 2020. Cause those definitely would have just been my new starts. 20- in my 12 new starts, I'd be like, throw all these patterns in. <laughs> but what I do have with me today is from our Christmas spending spree at Bits and Bobs. I have patterns. We bought a lot of We bought a lot of patterns. The first pattern I have is from the Blue Flower Night Walked Down. I'm so glad you got that. I was going to suggest that you get that when you said you wanted to do a sampler. Mm -hmm. Not, I mean, it's not, but it just that style. I was like, I think you should start with something like this. Yeah. Well, and this is, I think number four in my 12 starts. So who knows after, if it's not terribly late after we finish recording, maybe I'll start it. I'm already crashing though. (laughs) Like, "Mm." And then from no. primitive hair, I've got early witches. I like that one. This is like sorry, a- I gotta steal my patterns before Dexter crushes them. <laughs> yeah, early witches. This one's spooky. It's like just yeah, nice spooky pattern. Hearing the word early makes me think of the dad from Squid Billies. <laughs> okay. No. <laughs> I, I barely early. That show. And then also <laughs> from the primitive hair, um, the first like installment of the 12 days of Christmas that are December 26, 27, 28, 29. With those. It's like hmm, pretty cool. Then from Satsuma Street, Christmas cat. That's awesome. I might change the cat to look like Trigger, but I do like a good Siamese cat. It kind of 
like that plate I broke. Yeah. I had this really cool Siamese cat ceramic plate back in the day that I got at an antique shop. I was very young. I don't know why I bought it, but I liked it. It was a cool thing. We were obsessed with glass cats for a while. Yeah. And Justine, did you step on it or did I, you? Oh, it was like sitting on the floor by the mantle or by yeah. the fireplace. And I either stepped on it or sat on it and snapped the it, neck in half. Yeah. Probably could have glued it. Yeah. I'm surprised we didn't. Yeah. I'm <laughs> now that I think this. about it, I'm like, why didn't we just glue it together? I but... probably just threw it out because I was so. Yeah. You were probably oh. too pissed to repair it. Yep. <laughs> every time I like buy something with a Siamese cat on it or it's I see a Siamese cat I'm always like that ceramic dish I should look on Etsy maybe it's do you know um I still every once in a great while search for that to see if I can find one <laughs> one of these days we'll get it back I mean how old were you like I was like in second grade I was I was young and I was like, what the fuck are you doing with this? So, yeah, that, that was like 23 years ago. And I still search for that damn plate. I was so heartbroken. Anyways, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> From Plum Street Samplers, we have Tomb with a View. Tomb with a View? Medible, medible Grub. I'm saying the name so wrong, I bet. Hold it down so I can see it. Oh, um, a hittable grub? I don't know. Yeah. I'm not going to. Says, move on, dear reader. Thou treadest o'er my view, for here I am destined to lay. I've not to behold, but this dirt, dark and cold, tis to be your pleasure someday. Hmm. I did not do that reading any justice. No, and you then- did not. From Barbara Anna Designs, I got Oh Christmas Tree. I like that. And Oh Halloween Tree. I don't know what it is about me buying a counterpart, the Halloween and Christmas. It's got to be a Nightmare Before Christmas thing. Halloween Town, Christmas Town. Mm. Like, could be. Oh, yeah. I just like the idea that it's like, you can just swap them. Mm-hmm. Or you just have them next to each other. Uh, but those, um, yeah, those were the patterns I got. Nice. That was how my 50 bucks was spent. And it was way more than 50 bucks. It, that's true. That is very true. I give me false hope to people that... Uh, <laughs> yeah, my bad. That's my bad. <laughs> but it helped out. Yep. All right. So my stuff from Stitching Bits and Bobs. I got uh, this happy hoo-hoo day. <laughs> read it. Happy hoo-hoo day. So really the reason I bought this, I mean, it's cute and I like it and I will stitch it mm-hmm. probably fairly soon. And it came with the beads and the charm. But I saw this on the back. And I was like, I'm buying this because I have to find this pattern. <laughs> oh, so, yeah. it's a different. It was like, oh, it's like an ad for another pattern they offer. Yes. Oh. Okay. And I have never seen it before. It's called Secret Turkey Hunt. And I think the Fat Quarter Shop has it, but they're selling it as like a partial kit. And I don't want kit so if anybody's got any leads um and justine spent another 23 years looking for not only yeah. the siamese cat but a <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay so this is a division of little house needleworks called tumbleweeds she got these cute little cowgirl And 
And then I also picked up from Carriage House Sampling, um, Jackson. That is a cute one. I know. I just, these little cow children. Uh, from the Primitive Hair, Freedom, 1865. Mm-hmm. From Abbey Rose Designs, got Yuletide on Thistle Hill. I wish I lived in a place called Thistle Hill. Me too. Let's just make our own place, call it Thistle Hill. Thistle Hill? Going down to Thistle Hill. Um, Homespun Elegance Country Spirits Collection. This says Turkey Love. Turkey Love. I like the little heart. And then I got this Bent Creek Holiday Knocker. Also has a turkey. <laughs> I just uh, Bent Creek Holiday Knockers. <laughs> And that's, I'm like, I could care less about the rest of the pattern, but it's got a turkey on it, so I'm going to buy it. Gotta buy it. Barbara Anna Designs. Uh, Cinnamon Christmas. Oh, it's like you got your old Christmas tree. Looks like mine. Yeah. Cuter. Um, Let's see. Bringing Christmas. Oh, that's cute. Carriage house sampling that I totally blanked on the name for a second. I'm like, uh, who's this? Yeah. <laughs> what yes. is this? Yeah, I love this one. I love the colors. Palm uh, Street Samplers, thankful for the. Is that the one I've heard? No. Yeah. Okay. Where I had to look up and make sure I didn't have it. Because I think I have every other Plum Street sampler turkey pattern except this one. Now I have it. <laughs> it's like I completed a part of my collection, turkey collection. The longer you hold uh, on to those, uh, the longer you hold on to those patterns, I bet they'll be worth a lot of money one day. Yeah, oh, be like someday in my estate sale, my kids will be like twenty-five cents each, <laughs> ten cents. Yeah, I'll just get rid of this crap. Five bucks for the whole box. <laughs> a lot of turkey patterns. <laughs> um, so I've never heard of this designer, the Courtney collection, but Red Bird, number 23. So I need to go through my floss and find a good variegated green because I like the way that turned out. You're not even looking, you hoe. I looked at it. <laughs> now I'm on, I'm on the freaking Siamese ceramic cat platter <laughs> hunt. And then this is also a Courtney collection. It's called Pan's Shadow, number 16. And it's just, I don't know. It's that would be cool. Yeah. Yeah. So I need to go through my fabric. I think I've got some good fabric I could use for that. Wait, this wasn't it, was it? Like, I don't remember the blue eyes on it. Um, that looks similar. It does. <laughs> How much it is it? $75. <laughs> ah! It doesn't look like that one. That's totally That's not, not it. One. That's not it. <laughs> wow. Just, <laughs> just seeing if you never broke my ceramic cat platter, I could be selling it on eBay for $1 million. <laughs> oh, you mean you wouldn't have kept it? No, I would definitely. I'm. Yes, I, I don't need to replace it because you would have gotten rid of it anyway. Um, so then I also picked up while we were at Stitching Bits and Bombs, I bought um, a fat quarter. It's a 40 count linen crystal heartland by Picture This Plus, and it's an opalescent. You got fabric at Bits and Bombs? Yeah. Oh. Remember, because you were like, don't you have fabric you can use? Sure do. Um, and then I also got two skeins of Dinky Dyes Black Sand Beach. Oh, yeah, yeah. And so that right there, that combo, 
is going to be for my Aldling sign. Hello from Liz Matthews. That's going to be my last of the 12 starts. Yep. So that's what I got from Bits and Bobs. But then there's more. Oh. Um, so Black Needle Society, nice list. The reason I wanted the nice list is because of the designers that were participating. Um, her copper Bart, the winter welcome. Yeah, I like that one. And Kathy Barrick, Christmas pin pillow. I really like that one. Um, and then there was also from Little Stitch Girl, my nice list. That's cute. Yeah. And then it came with the fabric and the specialty flosses that were needed. Um. I also had gotten the Stitchy Box Christmas box. And so that had some patterns in that. This was one of them, this Frony, Frony Ritter designs. Little mitten ornaments. And then came with a couple of Stitchy Box samplers, Christmas band sampler. Those colors. Yeah. And then Rudolph's Garden, which is cute. And Oops. then uh, Darling and Whimsy, for Quirky Quaker's Gingerbread. Oh. And then I just ordered on Etsy, I got the Moose, the Reindeer, and one other one, but I can't remember what it was. Um, and then Twin Peaks Primitive, or no, wrong. Tiny Modernist did their little Christmas freebie. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, so I printed that out. Freaking cute. So those are all the patterns I got. Should I keep going or do you have anything? I keep getting really close. I'm all done. Oh. Well, I just had the patterns. Sit back and enjoy oh. the ride. Yep. <laughs> okay. I don't know if I showed this last time. Got the Get Stitched Done planner. Cool. <laughs> keep moving, Justine. Keep moving. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm trying to think of the best way to do this. These came in the um, mm -hmm. okay. Black Needle Society nice list box. And then this fob, I think, pretty sure this one was from Fortnite Fabrics, their November fob. And then this was their December fob. Hmm. From the Bestitch Me Solstice box. This little organizer by that So Emma, I think, stash store. It's So Emma. <laughs> The needle minder. Very wintry. The scissor fob. Snowflake. Got a Q snap, eight by eight, and a grime guard. It's kind of glittery, and some of the glitter comes off on the fabric, which. Oh. Um, project bag. I love that. And I've got my Make the Yuletide Gay by Hemlock and Rye. Kansas City Girl in Colorado World. I've got that all kitted. That's also part of my 12 
that's the next one I'm supposed to work on. Um, let's see. I did a full fat quarter for this box. So Glacier. These are all, uh, or actually they're 40 count even. Winter Wonderland. This one is a box exclusive. I think Glacier is getting released on the website. I like that one. This is my favorite. Yule Wreath. I think it's a little more on the blue green side than what's showing up. Mm -hmm. This is an exclusive as well. Uh, hot cocoa. I don't really get this one. <laughs> my hot cocoa is usually darker than this, but. There's too much milk in my hot cocoa. <laughs> so I think that one's getting listed as well. This is also on an even weave. So there's just a possibility that on linen or Ada, it would have come out darker. Mm -hmm. And then this one is another exclusive, and it's Old Man Winter. Old Man Winter. I like that one. The modeling on this does remind me of, like, the when the window panes freeze, and they get, like, the ice crystal look to them. And then the silks from that solstice box. That Winter Blues. Chili. 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 Princess. Assuming it's like Ice Princess, maybe. That would be my guess. Fudge. 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 Call the judge. Someone's having a baby. Crumble. A cookie crumble. Sleet. Which we're going to have a lot of on the roads after this storm rolls through. I think it, uh, I think about two hours ago, the snow stopped in Chicago. Yeah, ours stopped a little while ago, I think. I don't know. I haven't looked out to see if it started back up, yeah. but it like rained beforehand. So everything was covered in ice. Hot cocoa. Poinsettia. And evergreen. Let's see. Then. Ow. So that was all from the box. Oh, and this. Awesome canvas bag, which I use today. <laughs> okay, then. I had a couple that I ordered from a Friday night fight night. And let's see, this is a 32 count Lugana bedrock. Just a nice neutral. Kind of like a peachy brown. Uh, this one is a 40 count even weave called Bog. I think I ordered this one. I like that she's doing these, um, like you can order them. Mm -hmm off the website on Friday night fight night. Oh yeah. Is that with, cause there were technical difficulties and whatnot. And yeah. And then this one is a 32 count Lugana called frost. It's very reminiscent of old man winter. <laughs> and then I just got my, December Club, and this is a 32 count Lugana, and it's called It's a Mystery. 
I like that one. Yeah. I might use this one for my wild violet, um, like Rudolph space pattern. Um, let's see. I got my Fiberlicious Yummy Fibers December pack. So silks, wintergreen. Noel. Christmas lights. Nice. Treetop glisten. Treetop glisten and cranberry. Those are all pretty. Yeah, I really like those. Um, let's see. Fortnite fabrics. I got my November and my December clubs. My November came like the first week of December, I think. So I do two clubs, the sampler club, 40 count, earnest. It's got kind of a pinkish tan to it. Uh, this one is called Francis. Pretty. Uh, it looks like is, it too. This is not showing up well. It's green. Oh, that looks tan to me. I know. This is not showing up at all. Ooh. Well, it's a green, everybody. Yeah, it's like a greenish tan color. I guess you could say it's tan with a green undertone. I don't know. Um, and then... This is a 32 count. This came in the Black Needle Society box. It's called Winterberry. And I think that's for the Park Hopper Bart pattern. And then the other two, there was like a Weeks Dye Works, I think. And I can't remember what the other one was, but. Uh, and then I do the expensive rich. This one was called bankrolls. It's a 32 count opalescent. Bankrolls. It just, I just got my invoice today for the new year. So this new year I'm doing one club from them. Mm -hmm. And then this one is called chauffeur. Chauffeur. I like that color. So that's that. I went to Joanne's yesterday and got this. <laughs> Is that for wine? Yes, yeah, the tea. Oh, that's okay. What? I'm intrigued again. <laughs> I said, if that's for alcohol, cool. <laughs> yeah, it was $5. And I figured I'd paint and then I, if I can find. So I can't remember what designer it is. I have a leggy leprechaun. So I think I'm going to look and see if there's a leggy Santa. And maybe it would be long enough to put on this. More like maybe a stack of presents. I don't know. I'll figure something out. That's cool, though. Um, I guess this is kind of like stitchy kindness. <laughs> this is from Jackie. It's one of my Christmas gifts. <laughs> yep. A ceramic okay. turkey. I have to ask, did you have like a bag of like 40 of these? No. Okay. Why? Are you lying to me? No. What are you talking about? <laughs> because I swear I walked into mom and dad's house and there was like a bag filled with these boxes and I couldn't tell what they were, but they looked like ceramic figures to paint. Oh, well, no, I know mom, because I had told her about the ceramic turkey and I was like, yeah, they've got ceramic turkeys and like little ceramic, like Christmas trees. Okay. So maybe I was like, and I had told her, I was like, yeah, you know, the 
a lot of the stuff's like 70% off. Where was that? That was at Michael's. Oh, okay. But I think she went, she must have gone and purchased some stuff for the girls. So I was like, oh my God, Jackie, if you bought me like 40 of these fucking turkeys. <laughs> I bought you 365 turkeys, one for fucking <laughs> every day. Of you swap um, it out every day. It's painted the same way, but you gotta swap it. Out. <laughs> <laughs> I can just see me storing all the turkeys. Um, and then I picked up some fabric because after I just seen has her own ceramic turkey. <laughs> They're just all out in your yard. <laughs> crazy <laughs> I'll, build a, I'll build a turkey coop keep <laughs> for all this staged <coughs> when you do so that I, i'm committing you <laughs> carry on i won't tell um if that's what i do i'll find out anyway so then i I went to Joanne's to pick up some fabric to make some project bags because after kidding everything, I was like, Ooh, I need project bags. I didn't get half the fabric I wanted, but I'm going to do a new year's bag cute. That's cute. with that. And I just thought this was super cute. Oh, vintagey Christmas. That would make a nice, uh, project bag for my dash away all pattern oh i think i have that same pattern do you i don't remember you picking that up <laughs> <laughs> and then i was thinking about using this oh yeah as the contrast we'll see mm -hmm. um and then i've got a bunch of coffee patterns so i grabbed some coffee fabric Um. so like i don't know if people want to see this <laughs> well so I, mean, I guess i guess you can show it and then i'll just edit it out later <laughs> <laughs> no so i will say like um like my knitting. Mm -hmm. If you don't like, do you want to see my knitting on here? Or are you trying to branch off and start your own separate knitting channel, Justine? No, definitely not. Definitely not. Whatever. <laughs> um, and did you? Yeah, just more or less. That like, if you don't want to see my knitting, that's fine. I won't show it. Um, so I guess. As of right now, this will be the last time I show my knitting stuff. Mm -hmm. But if people want to, I don't know, just comment and say whether or not that's something you want to see. If you want it to just no. be <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> yeah. Stop showing the stupid <laughs> It's just me in the comments. Stop <laughs> showing your <laughs> You already <laughs> have so much showing just <laughs> Oh, God. Well, yeah, so I guess we could do kind of like what um, Three Trail Stitchers does. And just that, like, okay. So this is the end of cross stitch. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we're, we're done showing our cross stitch stuff. If you're done showing your cross stitch stuff, then. Yeah, I guess I am. Yeah. So if you want to check out now, check out um, anything else that we show will not be related to cross stitch. So mom and I are going to sign up. I think it's the 15th of every month and it's a blanket class at the knitting oh, fun. shop. And so it's one square a month. There's a book and it teaches a new technique every month. And then at the end of the year, you have a blanket. So she and I are going to do that. And then my two projects, I, thought about casting on a project today but i don't have a oh i grabbed the wrong bag whatever um i'll just show my one then so still working on my malabrego it's the mara shawl i'm using malabrego rios in archangel Ooh, getting bigger 
getting a little bit bigger. Yep. So I'm on to my second ball of yarn. So that's exciting. Um, I have another one I'm working on, but it's in the other room and I'm not going to go grab it. And then I ordered a couple skeins of yarn from Mitchell's Creations. I think they're in Louisiana. Uh, Black owned business. So I got, this is a fingering weight. It's called my main squeeze. I got two skeins of this. It's just a really nice, like lemon lime. Yeah. Look to it. And then I ordered, this is also the same, the fingering weight. Um, this is called zombie butterfly. Oh. Bring it, bring it. And then the last one I got, she was having a, I think it was a 50% a off sale. And that was why I bought four. Uh, this one is called Debris Batch 2. I really like this one. I should have ordered two of it, but whatever. Yeah. That's pretty. So I ordered those. And then I also, I don't remember if I showed this last time, but this nomadic knits and it's a I think it's like maybe a quarterly publication this is issue seven and it's Michigan so it highlights artists and dyers and pattern creators from Michigan and then it goes through and like talks about the history of the Motor City and um and just Sleeping Bear Dunes and got great pictures of our state's landscape there it is the mighty mac um and then we went to barnes and noble and they were having uh 50 off on all their hardcover books so i got this one I'll be able to use all my Outlander yarn. <laughs> God. And then I also picked up this one, this um, Vogue knitting. But it's just like filled with like, different directions and techniques and like tells you how to fix mistakes and different increases and decreases and cast ons and it's like a knitting bible so good holiday good new year mm -hmm. and now it is indeed time for bed we never wrote we never uh wrote our um my grammar's terrible i don't even know what i'm saying anymore our good night stitchers. The, oh. The poem. <laughs> good night, stitchers. Good night, Blouse Tube. Good night, Sam Hugan jumping over the moon. <laughs> good night, New Year. Please don't be a poo year. Or good night, old year. <laughs> I shed not a tear. <laughs> I'm going to go drink a beer and stitch. Yeah, I only have like 40 more minutes to get in a new start. <laughs> oh, it's 12.15, so. Central Standard Time, baby. Yep. You're living in the past, Jackie. Always. That's why I'm <laughs> so depressed. Oh, good God.
All right. We're wrapping it up. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for tuning in to Floss Tube number seven. All right, Floss Tube. We'll see you like soon with Whip like, Rain. Like, subscribe, tell all your single male friends that I'm still available. I would tell them. Here's my phone number. <laughs> I've tried. I've tried hooking her up. I appreciate you trying, Justine, but whatever. <laughs> all right. <laughs> we're just gonna wave. Oh, excuse me. Good night, Floss Tube. Good night, Stitches and Bitches. <laughs>